I define the function add numbers and pass two arguments a and b to it. a and b are of integer type. To specify the return type of add numbers function, I use the arrow and specify the return type of the function. For instance, over here, since the sum of two integers is an integer, the return type of the add numbers function would be of integer type. That is, the result of the sum of a and b variables is an integer. Now, if I call the add numbers function and pass two arguments to it, for example, pass two integers, the editor will not throw any kind of error. But if I pass a float type instead of an integer type, the editor will throw an error saying that the argument is of type integer. However, what's the benefit of specifying the return type of a function? By specifying the return type of a function, when we are writing the function's body, specifically I am talking about the part after the return keyword. If we return a value or variable of another type, the editor will warn us about the incompatibility of the return type with a type that we already expect a function to return. For instance, if I delete return a plus b and type something like return and a string, the editor will throw an error saying that the return type is incompatible with the one that we have already specified and expect the function to return. This way we know that, that we have made a mistake before running the code. Now if I return an integer instead of for example an string, the editor will not throw any kind of error anymore. And we are not really restricted to actually returning a specific type for a function. For instance, we can use the pipe operator and specify the expected types that a function can return. To demonstrate this, I define a function called getInfo and pass an argument to it. This argument is an ID of a user. This is a minimal example that you can expect in processing the user data in the real-world projects. For instance, our getInfo function returns a value of type string or none. In the body of this function, I define a dictionary of users that acts as a database of actually querying the user data. This way I can pass the ID of the user and get it, the user's name. So I define the users of ID 0 and ID 1. The user of ID 0 is numerous and the user of ID 1 is Jack. Then return the user of a specific ID that I have passed to the function get info. In this example, if I pass a user ID that does not exist in the user's dictionary, the get info function will return none. And if the user ID exists in the dictionary, the get info function will return an string. That is the user's name. So now I call the get info function and print the result to the terminal. As you can see, the user of ID 0 is numerist, which is a string, that is the name of the user. And the user of ID 1 is Jack, that is also a string. And the user of ID 2 does not exist, so the function returns a data type of none. So specifying the return type of a function has the benefit of not only documenting the code, but also preventing us from making mistakes when writing the body of the function. Thanks for watching and do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel to not lose future content on Python type hints and type annotation for beginners.